Have you ever gotten lost in one of those big furniture stores? Well, I've been stuck in this one for days. Just miles of bookshelves, beds, sofas. It just seems to go on forever. I'd ask a staff member for help, but I don't think they're even human. And worst of all, at night, the lights go out. The door is shut. Why haven't you left? Go out now! But I'm not the only one stuck here. Together we explored the store. Scavenged food from the cafes. And tried to find a way out. Some people tried to find a ceiling. While others went down into these bunkers. But... Lately, the staff have been more aggressive. Good evening. So I'd be breaking furniture to build barricades. Which has kept us safe for a while. Well, until a manager turned up. The store is closed! Well, isn't this exciting? A, a new SCP-3008 game that isn't uh, the original one that I've played, or that terrible mobile port that some person decided to cash grab on. No, this is an actual, proper 3008 game being developed by someone completely different, and it looks probably as good, if not better, than the original 3008 game, but it's only a few months old. Uh, this is uh, The Store is Closed, a SCP-3008 based game, as you can probably work out. Now, this is a multiplayer game, so in a future video I will be doing this with uh, some other people. There's basic base building, tool creation, yada yada, stuff like that, staff, tools, yeah, you know what I mean. We don't need to talk about it, we just need to play. Also, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, there is no saving. So any progress we make in this video, unfortunately, we'll have to scrap uh, by the next one. But this is just going to be a showcase video to start with. Well, here we are. Uh, we're in IKEA. Looks quite similar to the other 3008 game, except we got fists and stuff, and it looks kind of more like an IKEA, I guess, sort of. But look, it's got funny signs and stuff like uh, the Giga Pack Triple Ply Quilted Rolls. It's a real shit show out there. That's funny. And you've got the perfect living room. Fight off the Sunday scaries with a new ch chick or chic new collection. Head over to the furniture section available in multiple colours. That's true, there is lots of furniture here. Uh, and it's all probably from the Unity store. There's also staff wandering around and stuff. They look different. They got faces now, kinda. Hey, I don't mind. Hungry? For a quick snack, pop to the Igor Meat Department designed to fulfill your stomach. Fresh meat, dripping, consume, tear, eat. Stock images. Ah, oh, I've been so excited about this game. Uh, I was meaning to release it a few days ago, but developer said he wanted to make sure it was all approved before uh, I made a video on it, just because there was any issues. But this is, it's a few months old. It's barely been created yet, and this is as far as it's got so far. So, God knows what else is coming. Follow the numbers to get where you're going. Yeah. Right, let's actually show some gameplay, shall we? Now, obviously, you've got your life, your hunger, and your stamina, which is your lungs. Uh, running is painful. It's, it's not fast. This is full speed, and your sprint runs out very quickly. That's fine. I understand. I guess no one's in a rush here. But the normal process of gathering materials for crafting stuff is, you know, just punch furniture. Like any other game you've played, like Minecraft, uh, the other game cracking and then you get broken wood from breaking chairs if you've got metal these signs are good swedish meat now 79 percent flesh we'll have to visit this visit the store cafe at some point let's have a look at the map shall we here we are right we're here it's still black pointer uh we've got red which is some cafes and then we've got some yellow which are hardware departments so we'll go visit all of these different ones as well and then next video if i've got some help we can build a nice base because look there's building, like proper as well. Like, look at all this stuff you can build so far. Wooden walls, uh, metal walls. It's all very uh, Fallout-esque. And say you want to build a campfire. Put it here. Gives you this nice outline. And then you just press E on it to construct it. We need two bits of broken wood. 
So let's get a bit more just to demonstrate. So when you've got all the wood you need, press it, and there you go. Building thing. And if you don't like it, you can obviously just punch it to destroy it and, you know, move it somewhere else. Uh, food is dotted around. We've got this energy drink here. Go in your inventory. Two no energy drink. A can of energy drink. Yeah, you know, fairly simple. Click it. You eat, drink it, and it gives you hunger. Bet you can work that one out by yourselves. Well, uh, I suppose it's a good idea. Let's head to a cafe. So, uh, it's a bit of a maze, as you'd expect. It is an Ikea. Hmm. It might be a good idea to maybe build a tool to get through easier. Oh, look, another food. Is this a Coca-Cola? Seed cola. A can of seed cola. Or oh, soda. Damn. You damn Americans and other places that call fizzy drinks soda. I don't like this TV. And then I'm just going to smash it up a bit. That's better. So my idea is I want to create the sledgehammer. Uh, there is obviously other tools. You've got the hammer, the wrench, and the sledge. Uh, the sledge is very good because it breaks everything in one hit. It's good to maybe get the hammer or the wrench to start with because each bit of furniture takes uh, five smacks to break. Uh, the hammer and the wrench, I believe, only take three, and the sledge is a one hit. But the sledge needs lots of materials, so we're going to be here punching sofas, chairs, and rugs, and everything uh, for a while. Ah, and it's night time. Now, I have found the staff in this alpha to be quite uh, non-threatening. But I will kill some later, just to demonstrate what I mean. They spawn quite commonly, they spawn all over the place. Uh, they don't track dead bodies yet, dead bodies despawn, but again, this this game is a few months old. The other 3000 game was a year old, you know, how long it took to get to where it was. Alright, I'm gonna spend this night just breaking stuff, so, uh, bear with, you'll see some cool destruction later. And I mean some destruction. Everything in this game is destructible. Everything. Right, we've made enough stuff to make the sledgehammer, so clicky that, go to inventory, equip it. There we go, we've got the big old sledgehammer. And we've got a staff over here, this is, there's different varieties of staff, this one I believe is a zipper face staff. The uh, shut. Don't try to run. Alright, well I'm just gonna... No you don't. There we go. Very... <laughs> Proper full on ragdoll. Ah, uh, here's a normal looking one. How are you doing, Chief? Alright, how are you? Will not be permitted. Please make your way to the exit. Nah. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love the sledgehammer. It one hit KOs, breaks everything in one hit, like... Oh, get that box of rice there. Uh, just table. Smashy smashy. That. This. This wall. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely a thing you should go for as soon as you start getting into the game is just rush the sledgehammer, smash everything because everything breaks in one hit and sometimes you occasionally hit two things at the same time. Right, let's make it to a cafe, shall we? I wanted to show some of the areas off. Hunger also isn't an issue, I found. You can go quite a long time without eating. The other game, it was uh, you had to eat like twice a day to stay full, but that makes sense. It was more of a complete game, I suppose. This doesn't have an ending, it doesn't even have saving yet, as far as I'm aware. Right, so if the cafe's through this way, the sledgehammer's good as well for making progress because obviously walls and stuff can be broken with the sledgehammer and nothing else. Uh, so, yes, good idea. Here we are, cafe. Did a bit of a Kool-Aid man thing there, jumping through. Hey, this actually looks like a, an Ikea cafe to, a, to an extent, you know. Basically a big, dining hall like they normally are. It's got proper food, got pizza, uh, tinned pineapple, chips, yeah, I can see that in an Ikea. Gotta find a meatball though, that's compulsory. Is this a meatball? Nah, more chips. Or as uh, you in America would call fries, but you're wrong. Ah, meatballs, there we go. Fantastic. Can I take? Thank you. Nice, don't quite get these beanbag chair setups a bit strange, but if you don't like them, you can just Like that problem solved right. What should we do now then we've got stuff to build I suppose I could demonstrate some of the base building stuff not do a proper base just yet because like I said I want to do this with some people it saves time as well when you've got multiple people building stuff as well We could check out a hardware department. I think I should just show off the IKEA 
of what we've got so far. Oh, and it should go without saying, if you want to see progress in this game, I will be extensively covering this as it develops. Yeah, the developer has chosen me to be, I don't know, I suppose like one of the first people to have access to the game, so I will very happily cover it as it develops. Uh, I've done a lot of 3008 stuff before, so I know exactly what I want to see and what everyone else wants to see when it comes to a game like this. But here we are, we've got a hardware department beautiful place. Again, this looks pretty Ikea-y. I mean, the signs do a good justice. And these little showrooms, which is very accurate. I mean, it would make sense to maybe have some walls that were different styles as well. Because they don't just have, like, generic concrete walls. They stylize it to make it look like a room. Hello, Zipper Face Staff. Can you show me the, the way to the tuna department? How many table legs do you have? Ow! <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, the staff, uh, semi-aggressive during the day and very aggressive at night. They'll attack you from further at night time and in the day they'll only get aggressive if you get close, it seems. I like how this area here has these uh, tins of like tuna or whatever, or green peas, sorry. Um, and it's just got red tape around it, like this is a hazard. <laughs> it ain't. It just isn't. Well, that's an interesting bug, isn't it? Look at that. That's not rendered in properly at all. Is that the only one that's done that as well? Huh, interesting. Yeah, the things you can't destroy, weirdly, are these scaffolding. They're invincible, and obviously the floor is invincible. And some of the, like, the rafters and usual sorts like that. Oh, look, we got tills over here. That's quite nice. Now, there are other little secrets on this map that... Especially these little blue squares. Uh, we'll explore that another time. Stop turning the lights off. The, the change from day to night is not as scary as you'd expect. Food fit for a king or a Fido. Smeat balls, a Swedish delicacy, a plate of fries, tin of pineapple, it's pizza time. Got a meme in there as well. Yeah, I like the little descriptions as well in some of the items. It's a nice play of words. The hammer. When you are a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Wrench, it tightens bolts and smashes skulls. And the sledgehammer, basically a larger, cooler hammer. You're not wrong there. I really like this building menu where you can still, like, move and stuff in the game. Nice little touch, that. And it looks like a book. Oh, it's lovely. Got well, two staff over here. I think I could knock a few bit of sense into both I'll of them. The store clean by taking your blood home. Oh! Hello. The store is closed. Excuse me, could you uh, direct me to the nearest uh, coffin the section? That way, thank you. I need a bit of light here, I think. It's a bit dark, so just quickly just whack this down here. Lovely. Oh, it's so nice. It, it looks okay. Obviously, I think it's developed in Unity, so it has that Unity look. But, hey, it's functional. It plays good. The frames run nice. I've got a GTX 1070, which is a little bit out of date, but I know people that are playing it on 960s and stuff like that, and it runs perfectly fine for them as well on higher settings. So it runs smooth, which is great, lovely. So if you want to play it, obviously you can just go to the Patreon link at the top there. It will also be in the description, and you can download the alpha. It's not even expensive. I think it's something like uh, about $10, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It's converted from pounds, so I'm not entirely sure. More staff just hanging around. The store is now closed. RUN AWAY! I love the voice lines. I think they're a bit cheesy, but it's a game at the end of the day. Who cares if it's a little bit cheesy? It's not meant to be realistic, is it? No Ikea's like this. Although, uh, genuinely getting lost in this is quite easy unless you have a map. I think a good feature would maybe to have like a way you can like click on the map and it adds like an X or something so you can mark base or something. That'd be nice. Well, I think it's only fitting that we just build a little square house maybe just to finish up. It doesn't take too long. Staff aren't really too much of a threat. They don't seem to really detect you until you're quite close. Like, still nothing? The story's there short. we go. Make your way to the checkout. And they're, they're a bit stupid as well, it seems. That just looked damn stupid. Hey, at least I get to demonstrate the power of the sledgehammer and it's just smashy, smashy power. I've just realised, I think the, way, the reason this doesn't seem very ikea is because in like hardware department, it's just piles and piles of flat pack, isn't it? They don't really have furniture. They may have like this stuff here as like their, uh, what is it? Their damaged showroom items. They'll have like in a little pile little corner at the checkouts to sell at a discounted price because it's like got some scratches on it. But most of it, bar, you know, the furniture bits like this, all of that should be flat pack and all of this should be like this, but with more showroomy stuff. 
Can't be too critical. Game is a few months old. I keep forgetting. This isn't like a year old. It's very, very new. I don't even know why I'm smashing these sofas. I don't need leather to make buildings. It's wood. Yeah, when you got multiple people working on a house together, because obviously if you play with multiplayer, people can help you build as well. It's all it actually runs properly and it's not through a server, so it's all through your own internet connections. So depending how good your internet is, it, mileage can vary. It gets a bit interesting when lag starts occurring. And there are a few interesting bugs. My favorite one especially is uh, being randomly corpse launched. <laughs> Quite literally corpse launched because when you knock out a staff member, if they kind of fall into you, uh, they might send you to, you know, the ceiling, if it existed. Now, annoyingly, as far as I can work out, there's no use for stone yet. And that's annoying because uh, stone is everywhere. The walls, these massive, like, concrete stacks here, which don't really make much sense. It's all kind of... What is with these random things that are just broken like this? Yeah, stone doesn't have a use, and it's abundant. Like, there's tons of the stuff. Wood's a bit harder to get because it's only in like certain bits of furniture like this. And building's expensive, like floor and stuff is like five bits of wood each. It says broken wood one, that's lies, it just isn't. Like let's say, uh, let's make like a canopy. So I want a, a large wooden bridge, right? Like this. Plonky, plonky, and then it costs five broken wood, yep, yeah, cool. And we want some a staircase to get up there, yeah? There we go. It's a bit jank, the building I found. You can't... It's fixed the location to where you're looking. But I can deal with that. Is that lined up okay? That'll do. Buildy, buildy. It works like that. That's cool. But everything costs five of stuff. So quite good for working out how much things cost. But... Yeah, you know what I mean. What I do like is how everything stacks on top of each other like this as well. So if you want to build really high up, there seems to be no limit, really. You can go as high as you like and stuff builds on top of each other really nicely. It's a bit ropey, you know, I mean, this physically would make sense and I've not actually tested to see if this... Yeah. Time to make some floating bases. And I don't think you get stuff back if you break your own buildings, no. So, if you build something and you break it, you lose the material. Understandable, I suppose. Sledgehammer, very good for the building part. Because uh, you need a lot of material. And you're going to spend a lot of time smashing stuff. So, if you just have your fists, you're going to be here a while. Right, let's build something quite quick. Then let's just do a basic square house, like I said. It feels very uh, like Fallout 4's building, you know? It's got that vibe going. Now, don't go night time. We can't skip night yet. And it's nice because stuff can clip into each other, so there's no restrictions on that. you got stuff like doors and gubbins. we got windows, I think, as well. Yeah, you do. So you can see that you could build some pretty nice stuff. And Is that something glowing over there? I think that might be that fire I put like way off in the distance, just kind of like reflecting through stuff. And I Yeah, like I was saying, I think you can build like yeah you can build roofs and stuff although very janky i can deal with that though did that just disappear no what hey let me do ah oh, what what do you mean i can't build that there how do, you, how do you build a big square base if you can't put stuff on top of stuff mate what a swizz just set it on fire there you go this doesn't hurt you, by the way. Uh, it doesn't hurt staff either. Traps and stuff aren't a thing just yet. But again, it's a few months old. During my collection process here, I've just realised it would be a really nice feature if you could pick some furniture up and move it or something. Just so if you want to build a base when you can save, you can furnish it. Bit of a nitpicky thing because it's meant to be a survival game. But uh, yeah, it'd be nice. It would have a bit more detail. Instead of having to smash everything. Because once you smashed it, it don't come back ever again. It's gone for good. But maybe you want to, say, keep a, a sofa in your terrible little shack you're building. <laughs> nah, mate. Can't do that. As the game said. Oh, well, there we go. We've got a little house built now. It's quite nice. It kind of fits the theme of torn up bits of ply and cardboard almost looking. But 
Hey, there you are. Look, it's a house. Uh, a bit miffed you can't put a roof on it <laughs> for some reason. Well, I seriously thought you could just like get this and it would like it because it shows up, but it doesn't just like it doesn't like clip around everywhere. It does appear, but it, like it doesn't stay. It's like, mate, I want to be able to build on my house. Ceiling light. Oh, you can put that like there. Okay. That looks stupid. Hey, maybe metal works as a roof. No. Maybe it needs to clip into it or something a little bit like... Like that? Yeah, there you go. I think I got it. Oh, I don't have enough metal. I'm getting too into this now. This was only meant to be a really short video, just demonstrating and building up a bit of hype so I could do this properly with friends. There you go. Yeah, look. See, that is horrendously lined up. Who cares? Ah, oh, look, see, now we're making progress. You can build it across. Look, well, yeah, we've got a roof going. And then you could build a staircase up. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is fine now. This is great. Because then you could, like, break that bit. And then it all lines up more smoothly. All right, it's, it's janky, but functional. You can see how you can get around it. Smashy, smashy. Did someone say smash all this? Sure thing, bro. Satisfying. It's a bit annoying that everything you break only drops one bit of material because, like, you break a small stool compared to a whole pallet. You think a pallet would drop a bit more wood because it's all straight planks and stuff. Makes more sense. I have definitely built this house on a bit of a wonk because it's, uh... The roof... <laughs> yeah, it's got a gap there now because that's not lined up. Alright, more smashing time, I guess. Unfortunately, I've decided to set up near a sofa section and this all just drops leather. Or cloth, fabric. I don't know, it's just material. Hey, if you just like breaking things needlessly, uh, this is certainly a game you'll enjoy because that's 90% of what you're going to be doing. You'll either be uh, hitting bits of furniture or hitting weird deformed staff people over the head with a sledgehammer. Hey, whatever takes your fancy, you know? Hey, that was a trick. Sure, look, I didn't hit the cement, but I hit the pallet underneath it. That was cool. All right, we're nearly done with this roof. I'm getting proper excited now. Uh, line this up, sort of like that. And then this one. That kind of gets rid of the hole in the roof. It's not perfect, but... I could probably just put another bit in the middle. There you go, look, we've got a house with an actual roof and stuff. And then we could get, like... So a staircase, like, like, like that, and then not have enough material, like that, and then look, we can go up. Oh, actual building, and I, it's annoying that you can't save. It has like this thing called auto save and save, but like, I, there's no way of loading. <laughs> oh, it sucks big, but there we go. Can I break this? Oh, you can break the signs. Oh, wow, that is very long. Uh, well, there you go, ladies and fishermen. Uh, this is this has been uh, the story's closed alpha. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Sub uh, subscribe to the channel. I just said that. Check out the uh, the alpha on its Patreon. Support is fantastic because if you support it, more assets, more people to work on it, possibly. Etc. Etc. You know it works. But most importantly, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Very soon, definitely, because it's good. I enjoy it, and it's better with friends. Toodaloos. Can't finish the video without smacking a staff across the head. Lawn last time. Lovely.